2023 certainly had its feel good moments. Eyewitness News Morning's anchor Stacey Rasmussen takes a look back at the year's good news stories. While the news can often be full of crimes and scandals going on in the community, there are a few moments every year that restore your faith in humanity. Some of those moments came from the men and women in uniform this year. There were multiple moments throughout the year where they took time to save, help, and love on the community that they serve. But the first situation did not start out very good, but we promise it has a good ending. In July, a mobile home caught on fire in Arvin. The family was able to escape safely, but they left a dog chained up to the fence, leaving a life or death situation for the pup. That's when Officer Adam Calderon jumped in to save the day. Come on, please. Try and save you, boy. Come on. Come with me. The tense moments caught on the officer's body camera showed him struggling trying to get the dog free. I'm sorry, doggy. I'm trying. And at moments, it looked like it would be impossible. My back was already on fire. Um, whenever I was able to shelter the, the dog, my back was burning. And I, at one point, I, always, I thought I was going to give up, to be honest. Eventually, he found some pruning shears after trying to cut the chain for a few minutes. He was able to rescue the dog. Come on. Come on. Let's ha ha ha. I told you, trust me. PETA gave him the Compassionate Action Award. Another moment of good caught during a very tense time was during a standoff in Oildale. This time, the deputy took a moment during the chaos of the dangerous situation to hold and protect an innocent little girl as she was seen crossing the street riding her scooter to safety. But they aren't the only department helping the younger generation. CHP Button Willow Officer Pence helped deliver a baby on Taft Highway. After the hectic delivery, the officer even went and visited the baby named Deleza at her home a month later. The mom and baby are healthy. Moving on now to perhaps one of the most talked about things in the history of our county, the lottery. A winning lottery ticket was sold right here in Kern County. I started freaking out. I called my uncle. I called everybody. Yeah. I was actually with his son, too, and we were just going crazy. The jackpot was the second largest in lottery history, totaling over $1.7 billion. The ticket was sold at Midway Market in Liquor in Fraser Park. Some may call it luck or fate, but all we know is that person beat the one in 302,575,350 odds. That being said, no one has come forward to claim the prize, but the owners of the market were still given $1 million for being the lucky store that sold the ticket. I mean, hopefully we could just give back to the community have a little party, free food and everything outside the parking lot. One Bakersfield native may not have won the lottery, but she was hoping to win some money when she appeared for the second time on Jeopardy. Re in biology, here's Isha Sohail. Isha Sohail is a Stockdale High grad who went on Jeopardy as a contestant for their high school reunion episode. Unfortunately, she did not win, but she did represent Kern County well in the game show competition. And speaking of competition, Bakersfield Christian alum Derek Carr and Liberty High alum Jordan Love faced off in a friendly rivalry NFL game. The two played against each other on their professional teams, the New Orleans Saints and the Green Bay Packers. Carr's family let us know what they wished was the outcome. The Saints win. <laughs> <laughs> that, man. Jordan, go tear it up. But yep. one point better is the Saints. That wish, though, did not come true as Jordan Love's team, the Packers, ultimately came out victorious. And a young kid from Kern County got the support of a celebrity. Delilah Loya has been battling cancer for four years. She has had 30 rounds of chemo and radiation, which is why she needed a little encouragement and help from one of her favorite celebrities. Delilah was named after the song Hey There Delilah, and Tom Higginson, the lead singer of the Plain White Tees who sang that song, gave her a little surprise. I hear you're a big fan of our song Hey There Delilah, so figured that I would play it for you right now. So here we go. Actually, you know what? I got a better idea. Hang on a second. <gasps> oh my God! Hi, Delilah. Hey there, Delilah. What's it like in New York City? I'm a Which did exactly what it was intended to do. Put a smile on her face. I was just like, oh my gosh, and I just did this face. <laughs>